Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna we're gonna talk about the five big mistakes on weight loss and how to shred fast on a healthy way. large meal instead of few little snacky throughout the day or even four large meals if you have a really long day. Why? Because it won't up your insulin level. And not saying to restrict your calorie by any means. Even the opposite, like if three large meal full of nutrients then food will fuel your body with the right nutrients. If you feel angry, I'm not saying that snacking will make you fat bad anyway. Just listen to your body. But more likely, if you eat three large meals, there is a chance that you feel full and satisfied for longer. Especially if it's full of nutrient dense food, dense food and full of every fat source. Because if on this free large meal you only eat salad, of course you won't feel full and satisfied. Don't fear any kind of free micronutrients such as protein, carbs and fat, okay? Make sure to have the right amount throughout the day. I'm not telling you to fasting or stuff by any way. Doing cardio to burn more calories. I know I keep repeating myself on these topics, but I don't know why girls are such obsessive with this idea. Not only it will help your cortisol level, which is a hormone of stress, so we, it can stop you to shred and eventually lose some belly fat that you can may have. And too much cardio can even do the opposite as your goal to shred fat. It can learn to your body to store fat more easily. We all know this girl with just a piece of chocolate and we put weight instantly. And if you look at his diet and his lifestyle in general, she eats nothing, just salad and like bacon. And she doing just crazy amount of cardio, three classes a day, three hours of cardio a day. She always looks the same. So don't be this girl. If you want to get lean, you have to put on muscle. And keep in mind that the more muscle you have, the more calorie you're going to burn through all the day. Muscle weigh more than fat, but took less place. So you're going to be leaner, even if the scale goes up. So don't be obsessive with the scale. My first tip will be whole food. So fill your body with vibrant and healthy, nutrients dense food. Don't fear any of them because they are high in fat, high in carbs. Seriously, stop with this. If it's whole food, it's fine. I wonder why anybody uh, has the fear of protein. <laughs> Anyways, for example, nuts. Nuts are the most nutrient dense food for the on this earth. So why to fear them? They Stop fear fat! Stop fear fat! <laughs> fat are life, okay? Moreover, if you have a tendency on binge of this kind of food, whatever it's nuts or bread, keep in mind it's because you, you don't allow yourself to eat them. So the instant you're gonna put it in your mouth, you're gonna know you, you won't have the possibility to have them later, you, so you're gonna binge on it. I'm currently working on a new ebook on how I beast my binge eating disorder because if you don't know, I have a past of binge eating disorder. I will explain how I've done it and explain how it works in your brain, in your brain when you have an eating disorder. Girl, I know where you at and the proof you can recover from a binge eating disorder. It's hard but you can do it and I will help you to do that. Number four is not enjoying what you're eating. Find a sustainable diet or more way of living that you're going to keep through all your life. Can you seriously keep on this 1200 calories diet, this keto diet of crazy shit like can we talk about keto diet? It's crazy, I couldn't even dare thinking stay one day on it. Anyway, it does not make you happy, they keep you fat even with hard work and if you finally, with lots of starvation, you start to lose some weight and weight, not fat, then after all those effort and pain, you know you're gonna back, gain all your weight back again. And on top of that, this diet will make you just like a nutrient. So why not just enjoying your diet and your lifestyle? 
If you follow a plant-based or whole food diet, I promise you, you're gonna lose your little extra body fat that you may have and you're gonna feel amazing. And number five, last but not least, it's eating natural fat. Let me explain. Fat helps to absorb your nutrients, so it's wonderful if you eat a large salad with full of colorful veggies of some sort, but if you don't absorb them, it's kind of a mess. So make sure to get your right amount of fat to absorb all your nutrients. You are not the fat you eat, the fat you wear. Okay? Okay. In fact, you are more the food you absorb. Not to mention that previously of the great benefit that fat has on your body. Glowing hair, skin, optimal function brain, it lowers your cholesterol level, but it can also help you to lose weight. Yes, fat can help you to lose weight. Because especially for girls, we need a little bit higher amount of fat than boys sometimes. Why? Because it helps you to have a proper hormonal function. So you won't gain like hormonal weight. Also, it helps you to feel more satisfied and more full after a meal. So it can help you to stop those little cravings that you may have throughout the day. Keep in mind that if you have craving throughout the day on uh, higher fat or high carb stuff, it's one because you are lacking of nutrients, you're not eating enough nutrient day foods such as healthy fat sources, and two is because you're restricting yourself, so in your mind you are not allowed to have those treats or stuff you're craving in your mind. So your brain just wants those food and the second you put it in your mouth you're gonna binge on it. So allow them into your life a little bit into your daily day base. That's it guys for the video. I really hope you like it. You can know how much time it costs me to do this video. <laughs> because in English it's really too difficult for me. But I managed to do it. I will get through it, I hope, someday. Let me know in the comment below what you would like to see more next. More informative video like this or more vlog. Let me your idea please. I need content. If you have any question, let me know below. Don't forget to support with a little like, to subscribe, to don't miss any of my videos. Right now I try to edit once a week. We will see if I am able to do that. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much once again. Love you! Mm -hmm.